Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. I'm Pastor Pete with your word for the day. As we continue through Matthew chapter 9, we are being shown many miraculous signs that Jesus does. These miracles point to Jesus' divine power and amazing love. So today's passage contains two more healings. Let's read about it. It's in Matthew chapter 9, verses 27 through 31. And as Jesus passed on from there, two blind men followed him, crying aloud, Have mercy on us, son of David. When he entered the house, the blind men came to him, and Jesus said to them, Do you believe that I am able to do this? They said to him, Yes, Lord. Then he touched their eyes, saying, According to your faith, be it done to you. And their eyes were opened, and Jesus sternly warned them, See that no one knows about it. But they went away and spread his fame through all that district. Here we have one more encounter with Jesus where he shows his amazing power and glory. As you read the Gospels, you will see that Jesus heals blindness quite often, but no one else does it. This is a miracle that Jesus alone does. And in the ancient world, this would be considered a great cure and would point to the fact that Jesus is the promised Messiah. Exodus says that the Lord is the one who gives and removes sight. Psalm 146 says that the Lord opens the eyes of the blind. And Isaiah prophesies that God's servant, that's Jesus, will open blind eyes. So here in Matthew, we have these Old Testament verses fulfilled in Jesus. Jesus also gives these two blind men a chance to express their faith. And Jesus uses the phrase, according to your faith, be it done to you. This is not the idea of them having enough faith to be completely healed. The idea is that they simply believe in Jesus' ability, and so he healed them. So how about you? What burden are you carrying around? What healing do you need? What challenges are you facing? If you believe in Jesus' ability to fix the problem, then bring it to him. In Peter's letter, he says, casting all your cares on him because he cares for you. This is the idea of hurling your burdens on Jesus, like garbage, just tossing them on him. He is able to handle them and he cares about you and he wants to deal with your burdens. When we cast our burden on Jesus, we also trust him to do what's right with it. If we believe in Jesus' power and goodness, then we will trust him when he heals and when he delays. We'll trust him when the answer is yes and when the answer is no. You can believe it's good when he tells you to wait. You're not going to get that healing that you want right now. Regardless of the answer, we trust that Jesus is able. Now, unlike these two blind men, Jesus does not instruct us to keep quiet about his work in our life. You can in confidence tell people about the great things that Jesus is doing in your life. So with that in mind, let me encourage you to share this word for the day with someone else. Maybe it will encourage them to trust in Jesus and to cast their cares on him. Have a blessed day, Calvary.